Well, as Americans remember former President George H.W. Bush, arrangements are being made for his state funeral. Courtney Zabowski reports from Houston. Around the world, people are mourning the death of former President George H.W. Bush. Flower wreaths were placed on the gates of the Bush home in Houston on Saturday, the day after he died here at the age of 94. At the G20 summit in Buenos Aires, President Trump said he spoke to former President George W. Bush and his brother Jeb Bush. And I expressed deepest sympathies. He was a wonderful man. President Bush lived behind these flag draped gates. He was more than just a political giant. He was a beloved member of the community who you would see at baseball games, local restaurants, and charity events. Starting Monday evening, Mr. Bush will lie in state in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. Today, the U.S. flag began flying at half staff at the White House, the Capitol, and other federal buildings for 30 days. Mr. Bush served as the 41st president for one term from 1989 to 1993. Decades before entering the Oval Office, Mr. Bush led a life of public service as a World War II pilot, running the CIA, as a congressman, and a vice president under Ronald Reagan. At his inauguration, Mr. Bush spoke of new beginnings as the Cold War was starting to wind down. A new breeze is blowing, and a nation refreshed by freedom stands ready to push on. There's new ground to be broken and new action to be taken. In 2011, President Obama presented Mr. Bush with the Medal of Freedom, the country's highest civilian honor. As he has laid to rest, his life and legacy will once again be celebrated. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Houston, Texas.